Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of two of the Marvel Legends X-Men action figures from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave. And the two for this video are Kitty Pride and Iceman. So here they are in package. And Kitty Pride's one of them figures I never would have thought that I'd really want all that much, other than to just, like, get an X-Men character. But they did such a nice job on this based on this, based on what I can see here, that I'm pretty happy with it. And also because I really want that juggernaut. There's a picture on the side. Picture on the back with a little description. With her ability to elude attacks by making herself intangible, Catherine Kitty Pride is an expert of defense. Why don't they call her Shadow Cat at all? That's always weird. It's like, Kitty Pride, Shadow Cat, like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's not mentioned anywhere. I think she does not go by that anymore. Some moment in the comics, she's like, I will no longer be known as Shadowcat. Just call me Kitty Pride again. Well, I don't know. But there you can see everybody else that you can get. Already reviewed Wolverine, Cable, Deadpool, and Rogue. And they all come with a piece of the Juggernaut, except for Deadpool. So, yeah. And here's Iceman. Now he's a character that could be done really awesome, or it could be kind of shitty. And this one I'm thinking is a little, a little bit in between that. It says Iceman keeps his cool in battle with his ability to turn water to ice and freeze his own body to temperatures below zero. So that's a cool little picture of him on the back there. Picture on the side. Well, let's open these guys up. So there he is opened up. And like I was saying, he's kind of cool, but in some ways not. I mean, for one thing, his legs are really, really loose. Like, I'm surprised he's even holding himself up. Really loose at the hips. Even the knees are a little loose. But the sculpt on him's all right. I like the way they did the head. The way they sculpted his hair into icy pieces. And this piece on his shoulder is actually kind of like a backpack that plugs into their plugs into a hole in his back sits up on his shoulders so I guess that's good for when his arms move around they won't mess with that too much and one problem that pretty much happens with every translucent figure is you can see the joints and things through him which kind of looks bad but there ain't really much you can do about that but still I do like that he's translucent it just looks cool for Iceman I like the little spikies that are all over his arms and places. So parts of his body aren't just repaints, they're actually new for him. So that they can add the little spiky parts on. That's cool. And even down on his legs. He's got bare feet. Oh, I think he's alright. But my number one gripe with him is he should have definitely came with an accessory. Now you could count this as an accessory. But he should have came with something else. At least, probably a few other things. Like he should have came with some maybe ice pieces that he could attach to himself. Like on his hands or something. Or maybe like his little ice thing he rides on. Like you know he makes a little bridge of ice that he slides across. Should have had something. I mean he just... I don't know. The ice man, he should have came with some pieces to add to him. It just seems weird that he has nothing. Because here's like one of the older Iceman figures, and he comes with this little... I think this is the one it came with. He's also see-through. It's a lot more boring. He looks more like Silver Surfer. But... Came with a little piece of ice to slide on. Now this is kind of shittily made, but... Still, he had it. And there you can see them next to each other while I'm at it. He's starting to turn a little yellow. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but he is. But there's also this Iceman. It has a lot more going on there with all these blocky pieces coming off of him. He also comes with accessories like this. You can attach his big ass hand on there. <laughs> like, he should have came with something like that. That would have been a lot cooler. Just something to show off his ice powers other than he looks like ice. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky. But his articulation is pretty good other than it being loose in spots. See up there at the head. Can do the usual movements. It does kind of push that back there. Doesn't knock it off though. 
he's got extra articulation. Like this must be a Spider-Man body or something, because it's got that extra shoulder articulation in there, so he can really do some cool poses. You can kind of see all the way through there if you look. And then he spins there. Got the double jointed elbow articulation. Lots of movement at the wrist. Got the torso articulation there. You can also spin. Hip articulation. Also spins up there at the thigh. Oh, it's stuck right now. But this one. Hmm. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. There's a cut there that you can see, but it does not want to spin on either leg. I think it has cracked them or something. I don't know what the hell that cracking sound was. But you don't want to move with his thighs, they're stuck. But then at the knees, he's double jointed. And down at the ankles, he's got the nice articulation that these figures have. So he's really well articulated. Pretty happy in the articulation department. And like I said, I think the sculpt on his head's nice. The translucentness is... Translucentness, is that a word? But whatever, it's... It's cool. I like him. Just, I think he could have come with some accessories. Well, he does come with Juggernaut's arm, but that don't count. And there's a look at that arm. Well, look at that piece, it's loose. It's weird. Oh, even that's a separate piece. Huh. That's different. And there's Kitty Pride out of the package. And it took me a long time to get her into this pose. She did not want to stand in like a dynamic pose. She wanted to just, she just kept falling over. It was really difficult. Really mess their legs to try to get her to stand up. I'm sure she can stand up straight pretty good, but if you want to put her in a nice superhero type pose, it might not be so easy. So I do like this figure after looking it over. I'm not sure if this is a new body. I'll have to compare it. Especially like these shoulders. If this is if this isn't a new upper torso piece, then I don't have another figure that has that. I've never seen this one before. As for the lower part of the torso, it looks like some of the others I have. Like, sort of like the um, Jessica Drew Spider-Woman lower body there. I mean, that looks like that butt. Or possibly Storm, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's new. Because you see her belly button, <laughs> which is odd. I like that they did this belt separate. It just, I just like it. I mean, it's kind of a way that they could just reuse bodies more by just sticking a belt on instead of actually sculpting a new one with the belt sculpted. But I know it's like a cheap trick, but I just kind of like this being loose and separate. It just is kind of cool. I, I don't know. I like it. Um, I like her ha huh, hand. <laughs> I guess that's her phasing through a wall hand. I don't know. And this is her punching through a wall hand. Well, she's just... I don't know. <laughs> well, she's got a fist. I don't know what she'd do with a fist because I don't think her punches would hurt much. But whatever. I do like this outfit. I like the design of it. It's very simple, but I do like it. And I like her hair, the way they did that. The ponytail, the bangs. Looks pretty good. The face is done pretty decently. There's a little bit of a mess up on the eye, but it's not too noticeable. I think it looks really nice. And of course they included an accessory, which is Lockheed. And that's really cool, because she's always with this dragon. And that's just so awesome they included him. Here you can see a little closer up look at him. He basically just has, he's basically just purple with his eyes painted. And there's like sort of like a glossy paint to him or something. And the only way to make him stay on her shoulder is to wrap the tail around her neck, which works. First I thought it was going to look like he's strangling her, but it doesn't really. It looks like he's just kind of sitting on her. I think it works really nicely. And of course he also comes with this... Magneto head for the Onslaught figure, which I'll show that on the body because I don't have the entire Build-a-figure of Onslaught. I just have a couple pieces, but I do have his torso So I could stick it on there and you can see what that looks like And the other arm of the Juggernaut So yeah <laughs> But yeah, I like the body on this. I like the paint I like the face I really I think this is a solid figure other than it's very difficult to get her to stand up in dynamic poses. But let's go over articulation. So lots of articulation on that neck, even though she's got that hair. What is going on there? <laughs> it's like 
super articulation on her head. So that's really nice. Even though she's got that big ponytail, it can still really move around a lot. And then up at the shoulders. Yeah, pretty good articulation there. So it is hindered by this though. This is a little stiff. Doesn't want her arm to go straight up. Single joint, single hinge joint at the elbow, but it can spin. Then at the wrist, there's a hinge and it can spin. Then there to the torso, we can go like that. Back and forwards, pretty good. The hips, pretty much the same as most of the female Marvel Legend figures. You can spin, okay, you can actually spin, unlike Iceman, it didn't want to spin. Then double jointed knees, as most of these figures have. And then, as most of these figures have, the awesome ankle articulation. It's a little tight here. Sometimes that's good. Although, I guess it don't really help her much, because she still wants to fall over. Let me try another pose here. You can see my troubles. Unless I actually get it in a pose and... Okay, foot... Ah! <laughs> so then maybe, I don't know, maybe I just didn't... Maybe it's because I'm drunk, I don't know. <laughs> there she goes, he's in a pose. Ha! <laughs> so, I really like this figure. I think this is one of the better Marvel Legends figures. It's just done really well, and I usually don't care about Shadow Cat or Kitty Pride. I mean, I, I think she's cool, I just, you know... She's just a character that I was never a super big fan of. I like that she comes with Lockheed. It's cool that she comes with this alternate head, if you want to stick it on the Onslaught. And I don't have any Shadow Cat or Kitty Pride figures to compare her to, so... This is all you get. Now there's Kitty and Iceman together. Looks cool. And then I'll throw in a few other characters from this series. You got a little short Wolverine. Got Rogue. I want to check this. Is this the same butt? No, it's not. Different butts. So I think it's a different torso. That might be the one that's used on Storm. But yeah, they all look cool together. And there's Cable and Deadpool next to them. Of course, Cable's up there. He's a big dude. So that looks about accurate to me. And there's Deadpool. No, I gave him one of Punisher's guns because I didn't. I really didn't like the guns he came with. I think this gun looks a lot better. I think this wave is really awesome. It's one of the best Marvel Legends waves they made, I'd say. This really sucks that they might be killing off all the X-Men coming up. I hope they don't do that. I mean, just because Marvel doesn't own the movie rights doesn't mean they gotta kill off the X-Men in the comics, damn it! Alright, so like I said, these are the parts that I have for Onslaught. I guess I only got the torso. I thought I had something else, but... Looks like that's it. I don't know. But... Here's the Magneto head. Oops. And there you go. The color of it looks pretty damn close to the body, so... It looks pretty good. Well, I really like both of these figures. My main gripes are with Iceman. He is very loose. He's hard to pose and keep standing up because his joints are just so damn loose. But yeah, he should have came with other accessories. That would have been cool. But other than that, I do like him. I like the sculpt, I like his articulation, his translucent body looks cool. And I really like the Shadow Cat figure, Kitty Pride. I really like the sculpt they use. I like that she comes with Lockheed, it fits around her neck. And her articulation's awesome. I like the way they did the belt. I just think it's a really solid figure. I did have trouble posing it there for a second, but then I guess I just wasn't messing around long enough. So, I think they're both awesome figures, for the most part. Well, this is Mr. Evil Tease. Thanks for watching and goodbye! Oh, it's so nice in here. So nice and cold. I think I just laid down on this bag of meatballs and take a nap. Hey, you, you get out of my house right now! Dad! Who the hell does Silver Surfer think he is trying to take over my house? Stupid surfboard riding crazy bastard. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it!